celebrating its one year anniversary, Farm to Barn Cafe is known for its plant based vegan options. Dallas rejoins us live from Haleiwa with what's next for the company in 2020. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine. You know what? It seems like at this time of the year, right at the beginning, we're always looking for New Year's resolutions to hopefully meet and hopefully complete by the end of the year. And one of them is always healthy eating, which is why we're here at Farm to Barn learning about their local ingredients and the different entrees they have to offer. And here joining us on Take Two, we still got Michelle hanging out with us. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. And we also got Nella as well. Good morning, Nella. Good morning. So in the last half hour, we were speaking of the Nella Burger, just one of the entrees that you could pick here at Farm to Barn. But you, this burger is actually named after you, yes. right, Nella? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> tell me a little bit about the ingredients here and what makes it so special for those who missed in the last half hour. Um, so, first to start off, when I was thinking of making a burger, was the sauce, which is the basil aioli. Mm -hmm. It's the green sauce underneath the burger, and then it's topped on top of the taro bun. Nice. And then the beef has grass-fed quinoa beef, which okay. is a local one. And then there's mozzarella in it, topped with caramelized onions and cheddar cheese. Well, yeah. perfect. It looks delicious. I mean, the colors are just so vibrant. You could really just tell it's fresh. We also got another treat here as well. Can you tell us what we're looking at right here? This one is called the bruschetta toast. It has avocado topped with bruschetta with tomatoes and onion. And then with local um, source sprouts mm -hmm. with balsamic glaze on the top. Nice. And the presentation looks amazing, by the way. But mm -hmm. something that is obviously trending is avocado toast. But this is very farm to barn version of it. How many ingredients were grown back here that we're about to chow down right now? Um, so total ingredients that were grown on our property, none on this one, mm -hmm. but our tomatoes are sourced locally, our red onions and our sprouts and the bread we get from Latour Bakehouse. Perfect. And I understand that you guys also have um, some vegan options as well for people who are looking for those. Yes, we do. And this is actually one of them. This is one of our top sellers on the menu. Perfect. But we also have a vegan poke bowl that is absolutely amazing. Ooh, it takes right. a couple days to like process the beads to get them to the correct texture and the consistency to simulate like poke mm -hmm. but our beets are actually grown here on property so we work in partnership with Thrive Hawaii Jason and Jen mm -hmm. there are farmers here and um, they grow these incredible beets then the inside of it kind of looks like um, like the lines that you would see in fish or poke Wow okay the vegan poke bowl and that's available here at farm to barn but something that I've just been kind of listening to this whole time hanging out with you is just that partnership with local vendors. Can you just remind us why that's so important for you guys here? Well, I think the first thing is that it's really important to know where your food is coming from. And I feel like our community and our visitors alike are really grabbing on to that concept and, um, you know, kind of being a little bit more conscious of knowing where your food is grown and where it's coming from and not just, you know, you know, mindlessly buying anything that, you know, comes from anywhere. So, yeah. um, you know, to just be, use, you, use you, you know, be conscious of, you know, where you're buying things from. Nice. No, it's a really good point. And I know you guys have a lot of big plans coming up for 2020. You're thinking about expanding, hopefully. So that's always going to be something fun to experience. But if you guys take a look at the scene here, I mean, right in front is just a beautiful area to just have a big group come by. Or maybe if you have like a, a wedding or a birthday here as well, they got a stage here to provide live entertainment. So it's really just amazing. It's one of a kind of experience. But something that I have I've been distracted this whole time was this uh, bruschetta toast mm -hmm. that uh, Nella has been cutting right here. So mm -hmm. I got to try this and you guys are going to go ahead and grab one of these bites with me. I'm going to get the one with the crust because I like the crust. All right, go ahead and grab this one right here. So I'm grabbing this one right here. Yeah, this one has a, the crust right here. Um, but, you know, obviously so many tasty options to choose from when you come over here to Farm to Barn. Like these, the ones we saw. But, of course, you can check these segments again and more details on our website at khon2.com later today. But I want to thank you guys so much. Thank you, Michelle, for just sharing with us. Thank you. And Nella as well. Thank you for providing these foods. Yeah, no problem. Thank this you. This is the bruschetta toast from Farm to Barn. Sing it back to you, Christine. Oh, I love the way the food looks, and I love that setting. All right, coming up next.